I'm being stalked on X. And maybe you are too without knowing it. I'll show you why I've blocked almost all my followers. When you see the pattern, you might want to block yours too. Here's my notifications. Here's the latest follower. You'll see this pattern. This one has one post, which has been deleted. Most have no posts. Profile picture of a woman. Can't see her face. User ID looks like it was chosen by a bot. Account only a few months old. Following thousands, followed by a few. Next follower, same story. New account with bot ID. No posts, no personal details or catchphrases. Woman in photo, face in shadow. Here's the only real one in this collection. Lots of info, 3,000 posts and 19,000 followers. Now let's look at these three. Woman looking away, woman looking away, woman in shadow looking away. All these photos look like it's from the same photographer's portfolio. Scroll down. This one shows faces, but still no posts or personal info or motto. A bot ID. Woman can't make out her face. Yeah, here's three in one day. Woman looking away. No info. On X for a few weeks already following 1,000 different people. Woman looking away. No post, no info. Bot ID. Woman looking away, same MO. Another bunch, same thing, tails from the backside. I'll skip dozens of other examples of models facing backwards or heads cropped out of photos. I got as many as six in a day, with fake follows outnumbering real ones 40 to one. For a small minority, when they followed me, I followed them back, and all of them instantly tried to strike up personal conversations. This is ominous. Two supposedly unrelated accounts writing me exactly the same message on the same day. And they were persistent when I wouldn't say much. But this character was a little pushier. Are you dead? And when I said I was live, it got weirder. I'm glad to hear you're not dead yet. I'm from Los Angeles. It's 1210. Have you eaten yet? Here's a funny one. A little different because there's a face. And an exact birth date. Which is stupid if it's a real person. Yeah, it should be 29 in November. Name, Arunabeshi52568. Follows 4,000 people. On X for a year before making her only post ever to say, stay happy. Where are you from is a strange question. Since it's on my X bio, a better question would be, where is Trudeau stand? As she tries again three months later, I try to get an opinion about the BBC for my video. See how the BBC manufactures conspiracies. Ah, uh, but she ignores me. What do you do in your free time? A dumb question, it was in my bio. By the way, I'm 28 years, young lady, and you? I'm always curious why people follow me on X. Was it because of my Taylor Swift post? Maybe. Of course, I never wrote a Taylor Swift post. And she forgot her cover as she's now 31. <laughs> now this might be a bot or a 45 year old male in Mumbai or Shanghai, but I use she, her because bot women are women. So who runs these accounts? A group? A single person? A single bot? And what's the game? I'm guessing identity theft, but it could be other things. Like the feds. This guy went to jail for seven months for posting a meme. And it's worse in the UK. And could get bad in Canada once the government defines online harm as harm to the government's narrative. And there's the BBC creating fake accounts so they could accuse people of being conspiracy theorists if they don't tow the party line. I have some undercover accounts that I've set up for the BBC's Americast podcast, and we use these kinds of undercover accounts, and these are the characters that the accounts uh, are uh, belong to. So who do you think it is? And are your fake followers also young women, or is there a different pattern? Uh, please let me know in the comments.